I talked about the underhook and how as a top person you don't want your back taken. This is one of the reasons why you would do lockdown is to reestablish an underhook to maybe take the back or sweep them. We'll do a sweep first with the, because um, it does happen from time to time where the person on top doesn't uh, pose, right? But they still have an underhook. So we have everything the same. Jesse's got the underhook and he's got a nice, like we'll do a gentle cross face so I can actually talk. I put my foot inside those legs. Weave and extend. Get a really good extension. Now, a really easy sweep, I don't know what the name of it is, I just call it like a log roll sweep, is I have one of his table legs straightened out, and I kind of have one of his table legs underneath my arm here. I can actually pinch my elbows to my ribs. All I have to do is either I can use my hand on him, or I can just do like a bicep punch and reach. I just like slowly roll up. I'm on top now, I have the underhook and cross face. This is amazing. It's like perfectly opposite. I can simply extract my legs and come into side control, right? It's kind of like poetry because you're being murdered by this like cross face of doom, but like, I actually do it. <laughs> it's really bad. So I just leave the pressure. I pinch my elbow to my ribs. I really try to trap Jesse's arm, and you can use your hand on his on his hip or on his like ribs or bicep. I just like to like just kind of punch for a second and come up. See if you can do it nice and slow like that. You end up with an underhook and a cross face. So it's like just get him. All I gotta do is slowly unweave my legs and come up into side control. Pretty straightforward. Does anyone need to see it again? All right, get with your partner. Do that. Please.